Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can, and they continue with Anachronox, blind. Now, I'm still on Hephaestus, and I'm a bit lost, because I need to get into the Tower of the Grand Mysterium, uh, but I don't know how to actually do that. Uh, the path here is blocked by this guy. This guy just repeats himself over and over. He says that uh, the monastery is not open to the public and he recommends a bunch of their shops and all that. So there must be like a side way uh, to, 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 to get in, but I don't know how. Uh, how would one accomplish that? I cannot get in here, which this seems to be kind of important in itself. Please step away from the tracks. Do I have to alert the authorities? Because the bot calls me back, which is, hmm, maybe I can, hmm, does it ever move? Because if it steps on the elevator, uh, then I could maybe call it down and then it wouldn't have time to go back before I could hide in there. But then, what what would that even accomplish? I'm not entirely sure. Um, the tram is broken. be something to be done with the rails right where the elevator is because why would there even be a dialogue of the robot uh, uh, you know ordering me to step away from the rails if they were not important asked about that, about the mining process. Uh, hmm. What's the purpose of this elevator? And what's the purpose of this, of this over here? Please step away from the tracks. Do I have to alert the authorities? Yeah, it seems I should somehow draw him away or something and it would give me access to this for whatever reason. Uh, step away from the tracks. But I don't even know what to do with with the with the elevator here. Not while I'm on on the platform under the elevator. Like what's the point? Does it travel with me? Let's go if I go up or how do you hmm. either it does or it's or it's timed somehow. But I don't know know what its purpose even is. Like why does this elevator even exist and why is it important?
this step away from the tracks. Hmm. <laughs> Why is it even important? Like, if I arrive on this, will the robot think that I'm cargo, maybe? And load me into... Into the thingamajig himself? Apparently no. So what is the purpose of this? And what is the purpose of the tracks as well? Hmm. I I, I can't even take Pal with me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely a little confused. Mm, I've been here and there's seemingly nothing in here. Some guy sleeping. Oh, he has a... Like a receipt of some kind. Uh, what was it? Delivery slip? Unsigned delivery slip. Addressed to the Tower West service ent- Oh! Service entrance. So maybe I can pretend I need to ship something? In, into- or, or like maybe that, that I am- even that I am the package? Or, or, or something? Let's uh, get back. Mm, interfering with the v with the elevator is a violation of the municipal code three eight three three. Please stop. Mm. Step away from the tracks. Why? This is a deliver delivery slip I've been waiting for. Excuse me, I must load the cargo. Oh, so wait. Um, I guess I have to. So, so I was correct in assuming that uh, I'm supposed to bring him down and then enter before he returns, and he's able to stop me. But what is even in here? Ah, I will hide in here, right? And he will ship me into the uh, uh, into the tower. Yeah, 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 okay. Can my friend use your library for a few hours? No, you're under arrest for trespassing. In the matter of the Holy Order of the Brotherhood versus Sylvester Bucelli, a.k.a. Sylvester Sly Boots, the Tribunal of Believement finds the defendant... Guilty. 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 But, but... The monastery is sacred ground. The scriptures are quite severe regarding the punishment for trespassing. Deep below 
our tower there is a volcanic dungeon of hot death, an extensive maze of scorching walls and sizzling pools of boiling magma. If the blistering heat doesn't kill you, the beasts that make it their home will. There is no hope of escape from the Mysterium of Guess who's going in it? You can't detain me. I'm a private investigator on an important case. Can I wash the dishes or something? The detective. Really? Then the gods smile on us both today, provided you're willing to cooperate in an extremely delicate manner for us. Yeah, I was kidding about the dishes. <laughs> Last night, after evening prayer, someone stole our most sacred relics, the three keys of Cavatum. If you find out where they are, the charges against you will be dropped. Is that all? I'll fix you right up, Bruno. Tracking down stolen items is my specialty. Excellent. You'll have free reign to conduct your investigation in whatever manner you see fit. On one condition, keep your filthy mitts off the keys themselves. They are holy artifacts. You are required to find their location only. Got it? Considering the sensitive nature of this case, how about you throw in access to your library? Our library? Absolutely not. How would the Brotherhood react if I let a vagrant off the street rifle through our most precious and sacred texts? Unless, of course, you perform a second act of good faith to prove your worthiness. You're on. What else you got? Our fluid density analyzer is running dangerously low on resonating fluid. It's the key element in finding the mistech hidden within the molten lava. If the fluid runs out, our mistech production comes to a grinding halt. That can't happen. Let me guess. You inexplicably keep this solution somewhere really dangerous. Well, it is radioactive. Keep the replacement fluid in a disused, potentially hazardous area of the factory known as the Sluice Gates. Find it before the analyzer runs out, and unlimited access to the library is yours. Do I get a cool robe? How about a cool t-shirt? <laughs> okay, let's talk with everyone here. Uh, although... To be honest, I kind of don't understand why Boots didn't explain why he's here. You know, why is it so important that he... Okay, this... I think this just goes back to where the... Uh, yeah, where the track is. Uh, why didn't he explain that he's on a mission to... To explicitly to save the freaking universe like why didn't tell why didn't he tell them about about uh, Sander? like i suppose uh, they would corroborate that with he, with the, with their own sources because a planet blowing up is probably galactic news uh, so uh, i don't really understand why didn't he do that but let's talk with everyone our order emphasizes the interpretation of dreams we believe that long-term exposure to my sec induces them. Sometimes I dream of things that once were. The past will echo of itself, trapped in a recurrent nightmare as real as the first time. Listen to these my, my sec dreams when you have them. They are signposts of your inner poison. Uh, listen to your my sec dreams, my friend. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's continue talking with everyone. Oh, what's that? Crime scene grid. Uh, take the grid you found at the crime scene to the abbot. Try and keep a straight face. Crime scene grid. Clue in the investigation of the three keys of Cavatum disappearance, I think. Mm, you found the grit on the floor? What kind of clue is that? There is grit in every chamber. Yeah, but objects weren't stolen from any chamber except for this one. This grit is relevant. Whatever you say. Good luck with that grit. Mm, I can't believe anyone could have stolen the three keys of Cavatum. They are so heavy. 
We are at a crucial juncture in the future of the Brotherhood. There is talk of forming an army, it makes sense. A planet that self-produces powerful weapons from the Earth would seem an alluring conquest to any enemy. Others, others argue that the expansion of the amusement park will bring enough revenue to buy any army we want. The Grand Mysterium believes our army should consist only of members within the Order. Can you imagine that? These plum specimens of laziness form forming an army. My stick will deliver us. Okay. This hole is closed for the evening chant. Mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> his, his helmet kind of re reminds me of the German uh, Pickelhaube. Uh, okay. Any other clues? Seemingly not. Mm, you look lost. Uh, what are you looking to find? Well, I will go around on my own for now. Don't get lost. Uh, no leads except a handful of grit. What kind of detective are you, anyhow? That's troubling. You sure you swept the crime scene carefully? Hmm. Perhaps I've got a lead. Or perhaps it's only a red herring, but... A normal Malloy has been a suspect in my own f mind for quite some time now. He's leading an effort to organize a union for the workers in the mining plant. He's got plenty of reasons to steal the three keys. Come, I will walk you to the factory. Question him at length. Uh, no, but I don't want to go yet. Like, which way is the factory again? Okay, I will try to find him later, unless he will wait. Uh, okay, I will try finding him on my own later, because I actually want to explore this place in its entirety. It's a bit hazardous, what I'm doing right now, but um, my stick will nurture us. Uh, what s secrets shall the gods whisper in my dreams tonight? What heavenly murmurs will sweeten my, my slumber? You will never know. My stick will heal us. This is not only a place of knowledge, study and self-discipline, it is also a sanctuary for those seeking refuge from misfortunes. My own misfortunes were many, they culminated in my loss, in the loss of my... It's too painful to speak. Let's just say the vows of celibacy are easy for me. Oh. Okay. Although, to be honest, that's a bit weird that you said that because by saying that you basically said what it is that you lost anyway, but I guess it's easier, a little bit easier to go around by describing it this way rather than saying uh, that I was castrated in an accident or, or, or something. Uh, okay, uh, tough luck, my dude. Uh... Man, this place is large and confusing. The Brotherhood is a science, not a religion. We do not revere the enigmas. We want to solve them. We do not seek power. We seek knowledge. My stake will deliver us. You're disturbing my prayers. Leave me be. Our order places much stock in the dreams and visions purportedly related to Maistek. But you and I both know that Maistek has no scientific effect on dreams. It does not inspire any mystical visions. No, the mystical visions and the lucid dreams touted by certain members here are caused by a mo more mundane source, Tetra. It's a rare hallucinogenic dreamstone, outlawed on most planets, and much sought after by certain circles of people. Be wary of any in the Order who would lay claim to sanctity through such holy visions. 
Holy visions indeed. There's about, about as much truth to that claim as there is to the rumor that there aren't any side effects from heavy tetra use. The only truth is that, it's not in, that there's not enough scientific research has been conducted with regard to tetra users. The one that's one reason I'm here. I'm here to study the side effects of tetra goners in this monastic environment. But I'm sure you're not interested. Wait, I didn't really want to do that. Is this? Hmm. Oh, I can get to a different room, maybe? Uh, am I the only one who finds this behavior a little strange? Get back inside before you slip and leave me unemployed. Okay, it is pretty strange because, to be honest, that's a very that's a very easy way to die by slipping mm. this fruit uh, physics states it has potential energy if I were to strike it its energy would awaken the potential energy of my stick has awakened but who struck it everything has potential energy no you me it takes only a push to disturb our slumber. Most sleep forever. Uh, my stick is creation. Want a bite? My stick is creation, okay. I'm already lost. It's going to be a nightmare, I can already kind of see that. So I'm horrible at finding my way. Simon of Brebula wrote, The Maistek will bloom in the morning of its birth and flowers out in twilight of its days. All things must pass, nothing is eternal. Do not trust too closely the power of Maistek. Yes, it is the power of the gods, but it is also finite and resolute. One day it will fade into eternum, such as the flame of a candle or a rose from a garden. Okay, this repeats. And the bot has nothing to say. I, I kind of regret not following the guy, but... Dear me, you're not a monk. Follow me into this alcove. I wouldn't dare to speak of it to my brothers, but they, they would throw, him, throw me out of the order, but... I believe... No, you'll think I'm crazy. Never mind. Okay, okay, I believe. You're sure I can trust you? Never mind, I'll just say it. I believe that Simon of Brebula and the Grand Mysterium are one and the same. I know, how can such an impossibility exist? Well, I've got a reporter friend who tells me Simon is not a Brebulan name. In fact, someone's coming. Is someone coming? Get away from me, people will talk. Okay. Guilty. Ah, that's the that's a jury from, from the trial. It is a very interesting looking alien. It's like a snake, kind of. Uh, unfortunately for the Brotherhood, the Grand Mysterium does not bother with the day-to-day -day running of the monastery, I think if he knew all of the political maneuvering, he would have been appalled. Instead, he's off in his own little world, locked away in the chambers all day, studying the scriptures of Simon. I saw, on, I saw him only once, when I had first come to the monastery. He came out to greet the new arrivals and say a few words. He was wearing a hood, so it was hard to see his face, but his presence, his being, it was quite magical. The memory of him has kept me here all of these years, despite the ugly politics and backstabbing. He is a man to revere. May the Grand Mysterium breathe long. This is the great library of Hephaestus. We have every manuscript, codex and palimpsest pertaining to be scientific and spiritual studies of Maistek. As you can see, 
It's a rather underwhelming collection of works, but I suspect more scholars will, pen at, will put pen to paper now that Maistek has blossomed into adulthood. Unfortunately, the library is currently infested with, with bugs that have acquired quite a taste for our, our parchment. We've tried everything to rid ourselves of the pests, but all attempts have proven fruitless. Anyway, is there something I can help you with? Well, not for now, because I don't have the access, right? I, I believe you have business with the abbot, detective. The nine enigma chambers should be the least of your concerns now. Uh, as monks of the orders, we have all taken vows of celibacy, vows most necessary and most cruel. Uh, since you push me on the subject, let it be known that there was a day in my, that there was a day my thoughts strayed from my studies and wandered to a window from whence the son of the day spoke loudly. From this window, my eyes fell on the most wondrous and terrible of creatures, a visitor in the marketplace. I only glimpsed her for a moment, but that brief encounter between her soul and my eyes transformed me. She haunts me. I ache for her. I shall speak no more of it. Uh, just to mess with people, I pretend, uh, I pretend the wine is hot. Sometimes I pretend to break my teeth on the bread. They love me here. Okay, I kind of press X to doubt, but whatever you say. Mm. Let us be free of the shackles that keep us apart, my sweet bird. Oh, we're just discussing the scriptures of Simon. Yes, yes, the passage of the sweet baby of Maistek, and the shackles of reality we must free ourselves from. Hello. Hi. Okay, so I guess they were up to, uh, you know, they were discussing breaking their vows, basically, kind of. Uh, okay. I think I... My own misfortunes were many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I met that guy. That guy is... is uh, th does not have a problem with the vows of celibacy because on, on account of being a... Uh, you know, of lacking certain parts. Uh, okay, this goes out entirely. So I've explored this. My stake is creation. I have not explored this. Mm, what? Leave me alone. You, hmm, interesting. You're not a monk. From the looks of it. The abbot might not be too re receptive if you ditch him. Why don't you follow him into the factory like a good little boy? Okay, let's finally do that. So I think I don't have anything else to do in here for the time being. Hopefully I can still find him. He went this way. Mm, okay, there is he, there he is. I'm currently loading the A31 tunnel transport with fresh slags to send up to the entertainment district. However, we are now behind schedule because my human co-worker is a lazy creature. Look at him there behind you. He refuses to work. I shall report him to our supervisor. I, I, I guess that is him. Don't report me. I'm just having a hard time fo focusing. Uh, well, because of what? Maybe I can help. Uh, it doesn't look... Oh! There's more of this... Hmm. Interesting. Found tunnel transport grid. Mm, yeah, I guess I have a minute. What's up? Uh, what's your job around here? Oh, I'm, I'm just a dog wallop walloper. I lift crate of my stake onto the tunnel transport here. Nothing much to it. Pays the bills and all that. I don't know. Know anything about that grid? Uh, you picked it off the floor right here. I don't know, man. It's just dirt. 
Why does it look just like the dirt at the crime scene? I didn't have anything to do with those keys getting stolen. Don't try and frame me. Those two clumps of grit have nothing to do with each other. Now get out of here unless you want a clump of the dirt in your face. Beat it. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if I find that convincing because the, it's a red dirt, you know? It, it's pretty distinctive in color, so it's almost as if uh, somebody was as a, uh, at some kind of a significant place that has red dirt. Uh, so it was here and also there. Uh, but I guess let's follow him for now. Take the elevator down to the Levatic process plant and find Norman Malloy. Okay. What are you looking for? Norman Malloy. It's working at the upper generator room. Head straight through those doors, follow the ramp down, and then turn right. The fa factory is hazardous. Always be aware of your surroundings. Have you seen anything strange here? Buddy, I hear the screams of all of the men swallowed up by the lava over the years. I feel a tingle down my spine every time a ghost... Uh, every time... The ghost of a little girl who died in these passages wanders by. The pipes whisper rumors. There's a secret in every room. If you're looking for something strange, you're center stage, baby. I was just taking a break. I thought you were going to bust me or something. Good luck, don't lose an arm. It's not easy balancing the shifter plates so that they don't damage the slag of my stake as they are getting separated from the lava. It takes heavy concentration to perfectly adjust the knobs and dials. So, like, get out of my face. Okay. Mm, yeah, I heard about the three keys getting pinched last night. I figured they would send someone down here to grill me about it. Mm, why were you expecting someone to question you? I'm trying to organize a union. I'm pretty sure I know how this works by now. You accuse me of a crime I didn't commit, and throw me into the Levant without a trial. Why bother questioning me? Just take me into custody and be done with it. Otherwise, get your butt out of my plant. So what do you know about the keys getting stolen? Hey, my nose is clean. I'm just trying to protect the welfare of my workers. I don't know anything about Brotherhood politics, but I'll bet they are responsible for the disappearance. Those monks are backstabbers. Why do you think the, they may have a motive to take the keys? It's common knowledge that Sister Angela is the most manipulative con artist of them all. She claims to get visions and trances on a regular basis between sessions of talking to the gods. An ambitious cook like her might find a relic like that a pretty valuable political weapon, especially when she's trying to establish her own sisterhood. Uh, know anything about this grid? Uh, yeah, it's, it's getting your hand dirty. I've got work to do and I'm behind my quota. Don't talk to me again unless you're going to arrest me. Uh, Norman Malloy uh, is a suspect in the robbery. Sister Angela is a suspicious type and pot potential suspect. Okay. What are you looking for? Well, nothing. I'm just walking around. Listen to me. Not only is the heat going to kill me, but my back's knuckered out and my neck is stiff as a floorboard. 
especially along the back here, and the mask hasn't come off in three weeks. It's completely adhered, right up here in the front. See that? Listen to me. Oh, okay. He he repeats himself. Are you looking for the factory's hazardous? And also rather large. Yeah, I know the code to the sluice gates. What's a white color schmuck like you want with it? I'll give you the code if you replace the filters of the, of the magma siphons for me. Here are the replacement filters. Just plug, in the, plug them into magma siphons located in the four different sections of regulatory pipes downstairs. I don't want to have to fish you out so don't get lost. It would give you a ball of yarn, but the sludge down there would just eat through it. But here is an antidote aspirator with a sulfur and toxicity meter on it. It'll kick on once it detects sulfur and gas, and it will. If the meter gets up, up near 100, you better use the aspirator, or your internal organs with, or your internal organs with, will be lunch meat pretty quickly. Anyway, thanks. Okay. Oh. Ah, need the code. Mm, which obviously I don't have. Sure, let's let's do that. While I'm here, I guess. Uh, okay, I have to use it. When it gets near 100, right? Uh, mm, but how does the thing I'm supposed to fix look like? Man, this is going to be a nightmare. Mazes are my nightmare kind of by default, given, given the fact uh, of how bad I am at navigating. I don't even know how does it how does the place I'm supposed to fix look like. Okay, suppose there are four sectors and presumably something to fix in each one. This this looks vaguely important. Okay, so that's one of them in sector two. Mm. So let's try finding one in sector one as well. Oh, maybe that was sector one, but, but I don't think so. Sector one. Yeah, yeah, this is sector one. Okay, so it's le it leaves sector 3 and 4. Okay, 4. So now it's just 3. Sector one. So where is sector three exactly? Okay, 
bunkers. This is the way out. Okay, here is sector three. Fourth and the last. That about does it. Okay, so let's get out now. Shucks, I was hoping you would take longer. The code is 49665. Love your smell. W will it be written down here? Um. Okay, it's 49665. 49... Okay, I might as well go in there, because I do need to, mm, to solve one of the quests from the abbot. Sluice gate control, okay. As the abbot said, this place is dangerous. Lava spouts are everywhere, so be careful. We are looking for resonating fluid. There must be some kind of compartment or machine where it's stored. Watch out for any broken equipment or cables that might electrocute you. But me, we're, da we're in danger central, so be careful. Okay. To be honest, I hope there's not much fighting in here because we with just just boots alone, I'm not sure how effective am I going to be. chance. This thing is rusted shut forever. Guess the maintenance crews uh, are all hawking t-shirts now. Okay. So what's the point of this room then? Mm. Maybe I can find like grease or oil to move it. doesn't have a security card. Okay, that's where I came from. So that was a bit pointless to return. There's danger out here.
Wait, this uh, just looped back. Okay, that was certainly pointless. Okay, so the only way to go is down for now, given the fact I don't have the security card. The door is rigged to the. Uh, bet that door is rigged to the sample analyzer here. If I could bring it a sample. Sample of one. I found lava sampler lever. Okay, aha, a sample of lava, okay. I can't get it through here. So. Can I can I just get a like a scoop from Looks like the lever fits in the big power unit. I think I could turn it on. Hope it doesn't blow up. I think the sampler down there was activated by turning this on. Okay.
special release in 60 seconds. What does that even mean? Like I suppose I'm supposed to do something in that time. I'm supposed to bring it all the way back. I'm not sure why the door uh, didn't work at first. I think I, it makes me screwed. So this will bring it further back. Wait, what do I do with it now? Okay, surely there's something to be done with this, right? Mm, there's another switch in there, but I couldn't, seemingly couldn't access that. That's where I came from. Okay, but I think I'm on the right track with this. Wait, what's the point at the end? Like, it's up there, the platform is higher than here, but there's no... There's no stairs left and I think this goes to a separate thing altogether. Hmm... Okay, what's the point? during that the final sequence. Uh, this is just a door it goes to the back. And this I cannot open uh, without a security card unless I need to be standing on it like drop on it as it's rising above here. So obviously I cannot do it earlier because then I wouldn't be able to exit, but that's the last uh, level it's going to raise, uh, rise to, right? must be inactive while a sample is being analyzed or something. Yeah, so I cannot even get back, which means whatever I need to accomplish is located entirely within this room. Okay, security card. 
Okay, so that probably should let me in that other room. I'm still not exactly sure what this is doing, but it must be doing something, right? Otherwise, why would it even exist? Dispenser, dispense. Fluid depleted. Boots has got resonating fluid. Okay, so I've got what I've come from in here, which is good. But there were still a couple of doors that could only have been opened with this. Mm, that's one of them, I guess, but there were more this way. I don't think this actually does anything. Which is interesting because I'm not sure what's the purpose of this room. said that already. I'm pretty sure there are still parts of this factory I have not visited, but the layout I find to be a bit confusing, so... I don't think I went up before. This is busted. Maybe I will utilize it for something later, but for now it seems to be inoperational. Okay, so I think that concludes my business in the factory then. Mm, and it means I can return to the monastery to continue my search. Uh, for whoever stole the three keys. here either. It's obviously kind of... Mm, bugs are crawling on that thing. Still not sure what's up with all of, the, all of those anthill-like structures. And this doesn't open, right? Nope. Mm. 
what's the purpose of this? I don't really know. Elevator is out of service. Please take the ramp down. Don't stick your finger in that pump. I see you looking at it with, gl with a gleam in your eye. Okay, I can pick this electronic lock, I guess. of this. It's at first glance it's nothing. Mm. Maybe it becomes relevant later on. of the mind of the soul here in this furnace where my awareness was forged inside the furnace the streams of mystic waves buffet objects with sweet radiation and transform them and so I have been transformed if a hero brings me a stone and I will irradiate it mm, okay is that an invitation to do something I'm not exactly sure what you mean by a stone. I somehow doubt it's a regular stone you're talking about. You're firing me? Who told you that? You did just now, I heard you. I'm sitting right here, didn't you notice? Not really, I'm sorry, can we start again? No, not if you're going to fire me. Oh, alright, I promise I won't fire you this time. I don't believe you. Come on, don't be like that. I swear on your job, I'm not going to fire you. Well, okay then. Thanks, Louis, I appreciate that. You're one of the good ones around here. I don't think I tell you that enough. Now get out of here before I call security. Can you excuse us, please? I'm trying to fire this colossal brick. You're firing me? <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. I'm just passing through and stealing your belongings like an ultimate jerk. So I, I, I guess stealing people's things uh, actually far uh, actually far uh, outstrips the boundaries of mere jerkiness. Uh, it's, it's literally, first of all, illegal, and second of all, you know, it is a pretty serious crime to steal something that doesn't belong to you. Uh, hmm, it seemed to me I could maybe work on that, but maybe I was mistaken. Because I could have sworn there was an item up there. Yeah, 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 there is. And I thought I could... Oh, but maybe Democratus could reach it with its tractor beam. Because it seems like an item that one could, uh, you know, interact with.
it's a it's a piece of my stack, but, but but I cannot do anything about it for the moment. So let me just go up. And end it for now, because this episode has been long enough. So that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!